You'll notice this time of year, a lot of our perennials in our garden that have come up and bloomed, all their spent flowers. And so those spent flowers are we call deadheading, is what it does, it's removing those dead, old spent flowers from the plant. So for instance, on our rose, this rose bush has come up, it's flushed all of its uh, blooms, and it's done. So what we want to do is we want to remove all those old spent blooms and deadhead this to rejuvenate the plant to make it come up and bloom, bloom again. So on roses, we want to go down, we want to follow the leaves. So this is a cluster of three. We want to work our way down from the top until we find the first cluster of five leaves. We'll snip right above that first cluster of five leaves. What that does, our new growth will start branching out from there and will rebloom for the summer. So another plant we can do that with is we have a GM over here. And this is the same thing. All these old spent blooms, we want to deadhead this to remove all of that old foliage. So we can just go through, kind of clip all the old blooms off. And we'll, we're left with all the lush foliage that is still on there. And a lot of times on our perennials, by removing these old blooms, they'll regenerate and rebloom again. And so Judy's got a couple others we'll show you. And we'll walk over and see what Judy has to prune for us. Thanks, Ryan. So I'm going to show you about how to deadhead a peony. You know, peonies are finished blooming and you don't want all the energy to go into producing seeds. So you go down just a shape wherever you want to go and just above a leaf and just take off this old bloom stem. And you know, this foliage will just look beautiful until fall and no unsightly old blooms. And then I have this plant over here in the shade. It's, a, it's called the Chinese forget-me-not or a brunera. So these are all the old bloom stems. So we just wanna take those off and this foliage just looks beautiful for the rest of the season. And we're gonna go back to Ryan because he has one more plant to deadhead. And a couple other plants that will want to deadhead or get the seed pods off are this iris. So you can kind of see after the old blooms, it's left with these seed pods. If you leave these on the, on the plant, it puts a lot of energy into this, and it's also going to reseed and pop up everywhere in your yard. So what you can do is you can just go down, remove the seed pods and the heads, you're left with the foliage, and that will stay up and look nice for the rest of the summer. You can also, another one you could do, is, this is a lilac. So this is kind of your old blooms on the lilac tree. And so, you know, we have this flush new growth and this dead ugly bloom. So we can just deadhead these, cut the old blooms off, and we're left with the pretty plant. So now you know about deadheading. It's a great time to do it. You'll clean up your perennials and your shrubs, and they'll look great for the rest of the summer. Mm -hmm.